Okay, we got... Oh, we got a crew here. Got a bunch of people. for showing me the screen. Uh, Stop it. I don't like this guy to this side. Oh nice, the, the host is a- oh my god! The host is a fucking titan! Kinda of fuck. Jesus, I think that- Oh, that was the phantom. This is scary, man. Let me go! We definitely need to kill that that one. I don't know if I have anything that can shoot him through the floor though. We have some support. We have some PVE. Not too bad. I feel like he wants to cast another spell. an important kill. But we have the laggy crew here. For the resummon. Okay, let's finish you off. Where are we going? Of course. 
kind of glad that people don't know nowadays about the elevator trick. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be so painful in, in a lot of these maps and mines and that stuff. And my man just went back all the way. Dude, again? I, I'm expecting a DC at this point. I'm expecting that the moment we get all the way up, that's going to be a DC. Oh. Okay, let's, let's change. We can't apply as much pressure as I would want to. Oh my god. I skip. Dude, we're actually in trouble now. Just be just because of his shit net. Okay, um change of plan. His shit net actually got us almost killed already. Jesus. Scary man, stop skipping. Fuck, dude. He might actually kill me. He's, he's too laggy. Thank God. Jesus, that's scary. Although, to be fair, you know, that, that lag is just so bullshit. There's nothing you can do about that. You love how throwing knife and cookies have the same damage as way at this level? I know, right, Moaz? Like, someone... I recently saw a comment in a YouTube vid recently saying that, Oh, you started using knives. I mean, shit, like, because that there was a lot of comments from people like saying that I was not using knives before. And I mean, no shit, Sherlock. Like, look at the damage difference between knives at meta and at low level. Like, shit is insane. Give me the runes. It's like, throwing knives at max level and at low level do so much more damage than at meta. Unless at meta, if at meta you have, like, a dex build, you'll do good damage for the knives too, but... Like, knives are more build-dependent around meta. At low and max level, you know, there's no builds either way, so... When I say low, I mean, you know, 30 and under, like, uh... If you have a build at this level, you're a scrub. Let's, uh, let's mirror him with this way. Are you alone? Can't do that. His only option was to heal. Dark Toxic and Wolfgang. Uh, Dark Toxic is a Moonvale enjoyer. He's gonna shoot spells at me as soon as I focus on his buddy. Let's uh, let's play smart. There's no reason to not to play smart. Let's transform that Moonvale two shot into a four shot. Okay, even less than that. Insane tree.
nice. <clears throat> Wonder if we can strafe that insane range. Wow, that, uh, wow. That Misericord Dagger has so much more range than the dagger we were using previously. There's no way I was hitting that with that other dagger. We're gonna do a permadeath playthrough for Skyrim. So that means that if we die, we have to start over. So it makes the gameplay a lot more tense. And also we're gonna play on legendary difficulty. So you need to hit people like 20 times to be able to make a dent on them and they can just two shot you pretty much. But it should be fun. I mean, Skyrim is pretty fun. You have the precision mod, of course. It's like the only mod I reviewed on the channel. Wait, is that the, uh... No. Is that the, um... What's it called? The Twinks from earlier? Well, this guy sure looks high level. My favorite. Okay, he had no HP. Good for me. 22,000. DC. No? I think these guys were actually honest. He's just playing the game with his level 200 buddy. It's actually so fascinating how much the damage or the, yeah, the damage varies so much from like one invasion to the next. Like one invasion, you'll just hit a guy like 20 times and you'll do nothing. And then the next invasion, you'll three shot people. <laughs> it's like, and you're playing like with the same weapon at the same level. Using the in-game matchmaking, you know, it's crazy. Will you make a vid of the Skyrim playthrough? Yeah, I want to for sure. I definitely want to start making some uh, some more Skyrim content. I've been wanting to for a while, actually. What's the item you use to invade? Uh, it's called the Dirty Finger, I believe. One sec. Yeah, the Dirty Finger. Okay. Yeah, boy. You know what? I'll pass. I'll pass and I'll just keep on moving for now. Like this guy has a bow, the bleed dagger, and that's just the host. This other guy has the madness. And then the last one has wave of piss. So, um, no thanks. I'll wait until we get into water to do optimal damage. Or I'll fight with that where that camp is right here and use some of the mobs. Are we safe? Yeah. Oh my god, he takes zero damage. mob just blocked me dude this guy also does a lot jesus almost got in punch think we're dead no 
I want it to eel, but he's got a slight elevation change. We could not reach him either way, I think. Maybe if we jump, just a bad spot. Even if we pulled off the eel like I wanted to, I think that Dragon Breath was killing us either way. Who do you think is going to win the EU tournament? What tournament? An Elden Ring tournament? I did not even know they still had Elden Ring tournaments, if I'm being honest. I feel like all the good players have left. There's probably like 10 of them left. It's probably the same people playing the tournament all the time now. Which is unfortunate. If that's an... L I, unless you mean like another tournament for something else. Oh, it's happening right now? Yeah, well, here you go. <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> I don't even know like who... Like, who's left playing this game, honestly? A rock sling build in the tourney? Yeah. Honestly, like, as much as I, I took Elden, uh, I took Dark Souls 3 a lot more seriously, competitively, it has its flaws, just like Elden Ring has its flaws. I just feel like Elden Ring has too many flaws for it to be, like, viable competitively. Like, I, I don't... I think Elden Ring is, is a bit too on the casual side for the balance. I feel like Elden Ring has the potential to be better than all the other Souls games because it has actually very strong fundamentals with uh, the new um, crouch mechanic, the new jumping mechanic. Uh, the Actually, the absence of combo makes the game quite, quite a lot interesting. A running attack stun priority for a bunch of different weapons. That's a huge deal coming from other Souls games. You know, Elden Ring has a lot of good things. It's just that the balance numbers are like all over the place. Like you mentioned like a Rock Sling build. You know, Rock Sling build, it's such a silly thing. It's, it's one of those gimmicks that's like way too strong for what it should be. It requires like zero, zero, zero skills. And it's like ridiculously powerful. It's like super strong. Same thing with stuff like Storm Stomp. Like some of this stuff is like so brain dead that it, it really deters from the competitive aspect. Now, I think you can kind of overlook that if you play the game more casually, like what we're doing. Like it's going to be frustrating to fight those uh, against someone who actually knows how broken these things are. Um, we had a, a blue like a little bit ago who knew how dumb... Uh, Storm Stomp was. He was really, really bad, but he understood that uh, Storm Stomp was just a press to win button. And like the moment some of these players understand that some of these things are press to win, it really makes the game unfun. Like if you look at, say, the the numbers for Elden Ring right now, like the best reference we got is the Steam DB numbers for PC. That's the best reference we got for like amount of active players, because like PlayStation does not really have like an active player uh like charge somewhere not that i know of if you do know of it please let me know I'd, I'd be very curious to see that but the only reference point we have for amount of activity like you know actual statistical chart is the steam db with the amount of active players there and if you compare the amount of active elden ring players which is i think breno made a vid recently it was at 21 20k i, I believe 21 20k from a peak of when Elden Ring started, the, the starting point was like 950,000. You expect this number to drop significantly, but I think the interesting number to compare it to is actually Dark Souls 3. Because Dark Souls 3 had a much smaller player pool. Uh, Dark Souls 3 started at around, I think the, the amount of um, peak number was like 150,000 or something like that. So you have 950,000 versus like 150. If you look at Dark Souls 3 down the road, like one year after launch, two years after launch, then afterward the DLCs are already out. And then it's just a game, you know, holding its own from the multiplayer aspect after that. Dark Souls 3 held like 20,000 for a long time before it dropped to around 10 to 15,000. Elden Ring on the other hand, like a year, a year and a half after launch, is already at the Dark Souls 3 numbers from like three years, two years after launch, like four years after launch, which is quite telling. It just uh, it, it just tells people that, you know, Elden Ring is a really good and popular game that was marketed very, very well, but people are not finding as much replayability in Elden Ring than they are 
in Dark Souls 3 and by a significant amount because if we look at the percentage numbers uh, you can clearly see that percentage wise like Dark Souls 3 has the, had the much higher player retention just heard like a blue somewhere no This, this guy is weird. He's letting me 1v1 him, but then he has the blue tongue on. Uh, it's... Yeah, there you go. Actually, early hit a little bit. I did not roll, it's my fault. I never noticed that, but after we land or after we miss one running, he can jump right after and it's it's gonna have like the perfect timing to uh to avoid it. We're like not making a dent on this game. <laughs> the region is like too strong. Oh. I'm gonna let him uh, fight this, uh, this red. Because he let me fight the blue like multiple times. Also, I I believe this red has a very legitimate. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I think the red can kill him because the red has Ensper and a Peary tool, but the host is significantly better than uh, than that red. Also, it's not like the host has like a shabby build, like the host takes zero damage from every anything we're doing. Look at that, like he's he's already back to full HP. <laughs> it's like all the hits we did did nothing to him. Oh yeah, that that almighty running attack. Every time. Did not think I would hit that. We'll definitely take that. objectively better um i have issues with people that say like objectively better it's very subjective like
Jesus, stop it. I'm out of stem. No. Jesus, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, what do we have to like hit fast? Do we kill him? Fuck it. He's not dead, I think. This is actually quite difficult. This guy's a professional at getting guard broken. Oh, we got we got up something. Okay, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, actually, that's a big cloud. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We killed one. That's the hardest part done. Um, actually... I think this this is the play here. There you go. He doesn't care. Good. You know, uh, a hard invasion disguised as an easy one. We could have easily lost.